Have you been called too nice? Have too many people that you were into think, thought of you as just a friend? I know I used to experience this. I got extremely frustrated and needed to understand what exactly I was doing wrong. It took time, but I found the reason. It was being too agreeable and not establishing boundaries as well as no longer putting her on a pedestal and teasing her using a variety of categories I'm about to show you. Hello, welcome to the channel. I am Professor Globe, where we talk about glowing up in every category based on actual scientific evidence, as well as give real practical tips and advice that you can apply immediately. In this video, we're going to talk about how to properly tease her and no longer be considered too nice. I want you to first consider her comfort level with you like a rubber band, where the more you tease her, the more tension you create. Too little and it'll be a limp rubber band and won't have any hold. This means you're being too nice, too much, and it'll snap and you'll be considered a jerk. That comfort is now severed. Let's refer to this study where it explores the role of altruism in dating and showing either low, middle, or high altruism. If you don't know, altruism is behavior that is intended to benefit another even when that action has the chance of harming yourself. I consider high altruistic behavior is conducive with nice guy behavior, meaning they are agreeable, they're not establishing boundaries, and they're secretly manipulative. You can read more about this in the book No More Mr. Nice Guy by Robert Glover. I highly recommend it. Low altruism behavior isn't necessarily sociopathic, but incredibly selfish. As you guessed, what happened was those with middle altruistic behavior were considered the most attractive. So I want you to mix in comfort, i.e. being a very good conversationalist, with teasing equally to start. To learn how to be a good conversationalist, make sure to check out that video below as well and make sure to like and subscribe. Now, I want you to focus on your mindset. I want you to always assume she is into you. This will make you view her without that pedestal. This will then give you that line you want. And as you may have guessed, I don't like specific lines. I like overall structures and systems, but this mindset will give you that line in that moment. Let's first talk about teasing. Do not make fun of something that is highly sensitive to her because that can sever it quickly. Instead, if she trips or she has a unique laugh, something small like that, just to start stretching that rubber band a little bit. With the right mindset first, the right line will come to you. Here's some categories other than teasing to spark that initial attraction and not be considered too nice. First is disqualifier, saying something like you and I will never get along or you friend zoning her initially. This is a great start. Next is ignoring her. Now disagreeing with her. I don't want you to be rude or condescending. If her favorite food is sushi and you don't like sushi, it's okay to disagree with her and tease her and call her basic. Laughing at her, being somewhat sexually suggestive or escalating on her. And lastly, self-amusement. If you find it funny, she will likely find it funny. There are also a variety of ways to tease with physicality such as pretending to walk away. After she says something, I want you to show disinterest in your face and walk a few feet away. If she grabs your arm as you're walking away, you are in a great spot. If she laughs and she says, wait, 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 you are in also a great spot. If nothing happens and she just says bye, then you have more comfort and teasing to do. A drill I have done that has helped me a lot to understand how far you can truly go when teasing or using any of the other categories I listed is go to the point until she calls security, she threatens violence, or she calls you a genuine douchebag. I want you to go through these categories and keep doing them again and again and again with her to the point where she gets clearly irritated with you. Of course, use this with caution, such as don't do this at places you frequently go or don't mind having negative social proof at. You'll notice that you can actually go a lot further than you think, and this will slowly help you get out of that nice guy syndrome. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.